Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nor Muhammad from Animosh and we are back with another um, fr um, strap fashion show or a you know five watch <laughs> straps suggestion for you guys if you guys want to you know spice up the uh, the look on your particular watch that has been used so in this case in my case this is the uh, diy watch club uh, expedition watch that i've had for about two years more than two years now so it kind of looks a bit outdated already so i decided to yeah for, to put some new, not really new straps, but a few straps that I have available, available in my collection and give it that new look. So, uh, the dimension for this particular piece is 38mm in diameter, thickness of about 13mm from here to here, and the lug to lug is 48mm and lug width is 20mm. So, so, making it a, you know, a strap monster in my opinion. So, of course, it has this smoky, dark grey uh, sapphire dial here, so that doesn't make it you know a pure black dial watch but yeah still i think it looks cool if, when i put it pair it to a few uh, different steps that i'm going different steps that i'm going to show you from now so first up is this engraved straps engraved engraved strap <laughs> engraved strap strap from uh, rsmwatchstraps.com so this is a company based in singapore so you can see that there is that their logo the the walrus logo here so this uh, particular style of strap is um, you can adjust the length of this particular strap according to your wrist size so i have adjusted this to my part my wrist size which is 6.75 or 17 centimeters in circumference in circumference so the unique uh, unique feature to this particular strap is that this you see that there's a it's an indentation in the middle of the strap so that and the, the, the material use is very very nice as well so um yeah gray dark gray colorway they do have a few different colorways as well and bear do bear in mind that this i've they sent in me this particular strap for quite a long time ago so i think they've already changed this buckle design so but the concept is still the same so let's put it oh this is a single pass construction by the way so it wouldn't be adding that much of a thickness to the partic to the wash right so how you use it is just you put it like so and you go through the first you know first not keeper but uh, go through the buckle you can skip it but yeah i, I always uh, make it go through this particular buckle in order to reduce to minimize the the thickness so just style it slightly like so and boom you don't have to fold back the end of the of the strap so that looks cool in my opinion a very very nice system <laughs> i must say but yeah still what do you guys think about that so that is strap number one let's go to strap number two which is from um yeah let's just let's just take this one out like that so it's easy right so it's very very easy so let's go to this particular a uh, grey neto grey mafia neto strap from lovewatchstrap.com i think they call this phoenix grey right so phoenix grey is you know referring to the um, the old um, old neto strap issued by the military to their their members to their their the military members right so this is the phoenix grey color variation they do have a few other variation as well but i do think that this particular gray is my favorite of them all so it's very simple construction we have stitch um, finishing on these two keepers here and we have a love sign buckle here so nothing too fancy of course being a double piece construction this one mil uh, uh, material nylon material we add some thickness to it but it doesn't really look that thick in my opinion when you are using it and we have so many holes here and yeah they are nicely finished as well so when you put it on wrist it does add some things but not that bad considering because uh, this this material this strap is just very very thin i'm on the fourth hole you can see tons of uh, holes available if you guys have bigger wrist than mine maybe this one would fit somebody who is like what eight or even nine inch wrist so yeah there's no issues there so quite basic construction but it works in my opinion you do have that you know that bulge over here but i don't really mind it because it somehow gives that you know military or vintage military look character to this particular watch so that is watch a uh, strap number three sorry strap, strap number two next up is another strap that's uh, from i've got or been sent in to me by love 
watchstrap.com which is they called it they call, <laughs> I just can't remember what do they call it of, of course I will be putting some names here on the top right so I just can't the, the name of this particular strap I just can't can't remember guys sorry about that so buckle similar to that one or is it it's a bit different because this is much simpler buckle this one is much more thicker and this one has this you know uh, much much more uh, modern or, th or robust look to it so this one fixed keeper here one fixed movable keeper here and the, the unique thing about this particular design is that this movable keeper is on this side not on this side so it is a simple a single piece construction so I think they call it pepper pepper something I just can't remember guys so of course I will put the names the actual name of this particular strap in the video description and and also somewhere around here so that is how this particular strap looks on this DW DIY watch club expedition watches so being a single pass construction it will not add thickness to the watch so that's good and see how it looks like right so this is the first keeper the second keeper right so how it functions is that it can move so it can move so you see that we have quite a lot of you know yeah just a bit of uh uh, end of to this particular strap here so what you can do is you can just slide all the way so so that you don't have to you know don't have to fold the strap right so that is how this particular system works on the lovewatchstrap.com and i think they are the only one who is implementing this style of this style of keeper system so yeah kudos to love watch strap for producing something very very unique in the market today so that is strap number three let's go to strap number four which is again from uh, lovewatchstrap.com but this time around this is using this is using a oh, they call this an elastico strap so we have this elastic material here i've chose this um <sighs> the modern bond style colorway here so we have this uh, hook system here and we have this adjuster here so what we can do is just we i'm going to take out this quick release pins both of them all right so let's just we're just going to do this in one go so um, i'm going to put one here i'm going to put back one of the spring bar here so let's just show you guys how easy it is to be done all right make sure that oops make sure that it doesn't fly all right so it's in so let's get another one like so Okay, boom, you are good to go. So that's just as simple as that. So yeah, I just love this combination. So this elastic strap. So what you can do is just put it on the wrist and adjust according to your wrist circumference, right? So you do some, you see that it's a bit too loose right now. So you have to just adjust this, the, the, the keeper here, not the keeper, the, this hook thingy here. And boom, you are good to go. So this is a very, very comfortable strap easy to use especially in our hot and humid country here in malaysia where you know sometimes we have a very very hot afternoon and somehow sometimes we have a very very sweaty evening <laughs> and sometimes we do have rain even a very heavy rain in the, in the evening so this is how this is why i think this uh, this particular strap works in our hot and humid country environment so that is watch number four the elastico strap from lovewatchstrap.com so next up last but not least is a from a, a another strap from um singapore sent in to me by ivan from vario singapore so thank you very much buddy right so this one they called it a kodura strap right so you can see that the combination of gray and green really really works so what you can do is again put this the spring bars back in because this is quite a thick strap guys so 1.5 mil in thickness so i don't think it would it would go through like your normal um normal nato straps do what you can do what what you can do is just you can put the spring bars after you put the strap the strap at the back of the watch so you just have to make sure that the spring bar really fits into the hole so that is easy nice nicely done so i do think that the green the military green uh, com uh, colorway looks really nice on this particular uh, smoky uh, smoky dial right um sapphire sapphire smoky dial dial <laughs> right so let's just put it under this and see how it looks like oops come on come on come on come on come on i'm on the fourth hole so we still have 
about six holes left so people up to maybe seven and a half inches can still use this particular strap and yeah they are you know they are made for a quite tough and robust application so yeah that that looks cool what do we guys think about that and for me yeah it looks really really nice especially when uh, we are we are taking this this watch as a uh, a gada watch you can bring this to anywhere and it, it yeah, of course being a watch that is assembled by, by myself i just can't guarantee the water resist but yeah still if anything happens to watch i can uh, reassemble it by myself if i remember how so there you have it guys my five different strap options for this diy watch club uh, expedition uh, watches expedition watch and yeah which do let me know which of these four five straps that you like and if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye